2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Lunenburg Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Welcome everyone, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam here as we take a look at the House on the Cliff course, Rich, and I tell you what, you don't want to poke the bear here. No, I gotta say, what an unbelievable par five to start with. 6.45 from the tips. In the winter time, though, this is actually a toboggan run. I mean, they actually just take sleds and they go straight downhill. It is a mammoth of a hole. Unbelievable par five. You make five here and you're, you're pretty pleased. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Lovely effort, that. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. 13-footer coming up here. This one's looking good. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. And that finds him in a share of second. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Good looking shot, this. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Woo, back there, Horsey. Left yourself an opportunity. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Ouch, that hurts. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently one under for the tournament. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swim. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. We need this one to bounce right. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, it's looking like this one's around uh, 21 feet to the hole, guys. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. Good putt, that. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Needs this one to kick right. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Great stroke. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. And that will take him to two under. He finds himself in a share of the lead. We have a par five on this one. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the fifth. Wonderfully played. 
getting ready to play their third. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. one is for bogey okay let's head to the next our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey but here's an opportunity to bounce back going with a three wood here this one might roll into the rough time for the second shot here at the sixth just 10 feet to the cup here to make a mid-range par putt just two shots back after that hole we oh, love the strategy of a short par four good luck here that's a tad disappointing isn't it mm, John what's this one looking like yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. Uh, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. That's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Just three feet to the cup. I like their courage to be able to get that to go down and save the hole. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Well, this should find the short grass. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Trying to get to two under with this putt. It's got a chance. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Can make this one. It's for par. Looking great now. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Oh, that is crushed. Opting for the three wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, so close. A tie for third spot on the leaderboard. Up for grabs if you can hold this. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to three under. He's in a share of third place.
And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That dog will hunt. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. Uh-oh. This one's headed for the rough. That's not the outcome they're after. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. That's tidy. Let's see if you can make this. And keep the par on the card. Hey, nice looking line. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And now at three under overall. And moving down the leaderboard as well. You've arrived at a par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 12. Opting for the five iron. Should find the green here. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Well, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. I like the look of this. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Just one off the lead after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Come on, sit. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. It's on a good line. Mark it down. That's Birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And that makes him tied for first. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Choosing the 9-iron here. That might be one club too many. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And now four under for the day. You've arrived at a par five. This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. And here we are with the third shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, good chance this one, right on six feet. Not a bad line, this. Yeah, we'll take that. 
And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Mm. Maybe needed a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We've arrived at a par four hole. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Putting for birdie. Just didn't drop. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And that putt will drop. Well done. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. And another round safely in the books. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for second. And 18 holes of sensational fun is in store for us tomorrow, Luke. Just watch out. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Lunenburg Championship. Our coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bringing you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Has this player got it in them to pull out the win? Luke, currently in second place, heading to the final round. Not a bad place to be, but let's face it, these guys aren't playing for second place, are they? They've got their eye on the prize. They want to finish number one. So they're going to have to have a good final round to make that happen. Can't wait to see what unfolds. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, guys, this is looking like about 27 feet. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Five feet coming up to the cup. A good stroke. Well done. Currently at three under for the event. Starting off with the bogey at first, not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Luke. Unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Oh, almost went in. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Lining up the birdie putt here. Go on, get in the hole. 
And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. That's going to fall in the water, sadly. Getting ready to play their third. Mm, I don't think you planned for that. Yeah, this lie is pretty deep here. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Going with the five iron here. Well, a little off the target with that one. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Well, that's disappointing. This putts for double. Well hold. Currently two under for the event. Teeing off here at the four. Well, oh, let's hope that double bogey at the last doesn't haunt them here. That was tough. That's heading for the fairway. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Oh, well, that shot took some serious skill. And he needs this to save par. Just couldn't quite get it to drop. And this one will be for bogey. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He finds himself currently tied for 12. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Sitting at one under. Trying to break into the top 10. That's it. It's okay. And here we are with the third shot. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. Oh, just missed. Three feet to go here to the hole. Looking good. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Ah, that's a little untidy. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. Hitting it over here in the first place was just awful. I would blame his caddy. And in it goes for the par. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. This hole here is a par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today. That goes down for an eagle. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Now three strokes back after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Well, Rich, 
I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Setting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. 11 feet left to the hole. It was on a good line. Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Going with the hybrid. Well, it looks like it's too much club on this one. Ah, right into the water on that one. Sitting at two under. Currently tied for 10th place. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Well, story of the day for this player is just missed too many greens. You can't afford to do that. Six feet remaining to the cup. Ouch, that hurts. And this next putt is for triple bogey. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Now seven shots behind after that. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the tenth. That should find the cut stuff. Four right. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. Oh, well hold for Eagle. And with it, he moves to one under par. Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an Eagle at the last. You like that, didn't you? Second shot here on the 11th. That swing didn't deserve a good reward. This should head into the rough. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. It's on a great line. Nicely hold and for par. Our leader is enjoying a three stroke advantage. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. That should find the surface. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That should find the fairway. Sitting at one under the card, trying to crack into the top 10. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. This putt is to move inside the all-important top 10. This one's looking good. Ooh, right by the hole. 
And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Currently one under for the event. This hole is a par three. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. And down it goes. He's currently tied for 12. Welcome to this par five hole. In the position they're in, trailing, they need something special to happen. What an opportunity this hole provides. Time for the second shot at the 15. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Good looking putt. That's inside the range. This putt is for a spot inside the top 10. Nah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. Wow, shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? And with that putt, now even par with the final few holes to go. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Opting for the 9-iron. As Tiger would say, wait. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Should limit the damage. Nicely done. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Handy effort, that one. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, this next putt coming up around 30 feet to the hole. Ah, that's frustrating. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Good shot there. And this putt is for a final score of 74. This one looking really good. And that will do it for him at this event. And let's have another look at that one. Well, they've put a few points on the board there, Rich, with that performance. They did. Overall, it was a good week. Our kids say it was spectacular, but a nice, solid week and a nice, solid finish in the top ten. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.